In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful birthday card just like this one. Hello guys, this is Online Office Teacher where I help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful birthday card. Let's get started. So having launched Word, I go over to layout and under size i make sure a4 is selected and then the orientation i change it to landscape let me zoom out a little bit perfect now i want to divide my paper into two equal halves now to divide this sheet into two equal halves i need to put it in the header or footer section of the paper so that if i go to a new page I'll have the same thing. So I'll activate the header section by double clicking on top here. Perfect. Then I go over to insert, go to shapes, then I choose a line. So I'll just draw the line from top down to bottom. So starting from here, in order to get a perfect straight line, I'll hold down shift key on the keyboard. Then I release. Next, I center the line. So I go over to align and I choose align center. Then to deactivate header and footer, I double click somewhere in the middle here. So now I'm going to consider this as the back of my card. And that is what I will design first. So I need to get an image over here. This is the front part and this is the back part. So you can go over to the internet to get a random image a beautiful one of course i already downloaded my image now to insert my image i go over to the insert tab and i'll use a text box to insert the image and the reason is that sometimes you see that picture command is grayed out so you cannot use it so i click on text box and i choose the simple text box so it's still highlighted so i go over to insert click on pictures then this device now i'll liquid my picture folder i have my picture right here select it click on insert so i can resize my picture by resizing the text box so i select the text box When it is difficult to move the text box, you need to go to Format under Drawing Tools, then click on Wrap Text, then choose In Front of Text. So with this, you'll be able to move your text box around. So now I've resized the text box. Next thing I'll do is move it to align perfectly with my arrow keys. And you see that it's not covering the line behind. So what I need to do is go back to drawing tools. Then I go to shape fill. I choose no fill. And also shape outline, no outline. So that I'll be able to see the line behind. Perfect. Now use the down arrow key. Perfect. I need to increase the top again. Awesome. The next thing I'm going to do is to write some text in here. And to do that, I'll go ahead and use the text box again. So I go to insert text box. Now choose a simple one. I'll drag it and place it right here. Click inside and I enter. Happy birthday. Now go ahead and select the text box. Then go to shape fill. No fill. Shape outline. No outline. Next, I format my text. So to do that, I go to home. First of all, I'll change the font. I'll choose font. 
and I'll increase the size of the text by using the grow font icon or increase font size. I'll reduce it back. I think 48 is cool. I'll increase the size of the text box in order to get my text in one line. Perfect. I'll place it right here. Now I change the color to white. And next I'm going to copy the content. So I click on copy. Then I click on paste. Now the one I've pasted is the selected one. So I go over to font color. And I change it to light blue. Next I use my up arrow key once. Once more, and I'll use the left one once and once more. Perfect. Next, I'm going to design the back. So I'll go over to insert text box, the simple one, drag it in here, somewhere in the middle. Click inside, and I'll go to insert pictures this device and I'm going to insert a logo insert I reduce the size go to home center it now click beside the logo hit enter design by online office teacher now I'll remove the outline of the text box by going to format. Make sure you click on it to deactivate the insertion point. Shape outline, no outline. Perfect. Now I'm done with the outer part of my design. Now let's go ahead and look at the inner part of the design. For that, I need to insert a new page. So I'll go over to insert, then click on blank page. Don't worry if it appears on top. The most important thing is getting the design and you can print whichever page you want first. So now this is the inside of my card. This is the left side when you flip open and this will be the right side. So let's get the design. So in here, I go ahead and insert a text box. So I go to insert text box, a simple one. I drag it in here. And I say now I'll go ahead and format my text so I go over to home highlight it I choose brush script empty now increase the size 36 is cool I need it in one line perfect maybe somewhere in the middle I'll remove the outline by going to format, outline, no outline. Next, I want to duplicate the text box for this side. So I'll go to home, copy, paste. So it is pasted, I just grab it and drop it right there. Now center the whole thing by clicking on align center. Now place it in the middle, somewhere here. Awesome. I will zoom out. Perfect. So if you are happy with your design, you can go ahead and print it with a printer. And I'm sure you'll be happy because the design is neat. So this is the outside, and this is the front page, and this is the back page. This is the inside. And this is the left page and this is the right page so that's it on how to create a birthday card in microsoft word i hope this video was helpful if you found value kindly hit the like button subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time i post a new video on this channel you'll be the first to know keep watching and we will talk soon